Namaste Leo. Welcome to my channel, Lash Shukuma Magical. If you are new, special welcome to you. I hope you won't be until my next upload. And if you are coming back, thank you very much for your time and appreciation and um, finding that my readings actually resonate with you. Uh, thank you for the support anyway. Um, since it is a general reading for the sign of Leo in placement, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, I have to mention that it may not resonate with every single one of you watching. Please keep that in mind. So take what's yours and leave the rest. This is how it goes. Let's see what are your messages. Woo, Leo. In the month of January 2022. Yeah, happy new year, people. I hope you... You had some great start of 2022. I hope you do well. I hope you're fine and, and satisfied where you are and um, with people you um, actually have by your side. Let's see your love messages for the month of January. We will be having a look into your energy, your person's energy, um, the connection of the two of you and how this person sees you and it doesn't have to mean if you are a Leo in a relationship or not it's just the energy of a person most currently on your mind or better said in your energy let's have a look Leo Some of you may be dealing with some fire sign. Or they have some fire in their charts. But yeah, let's do remember that it's not about the signs. Let's not remain fixed on signs. It's all about the energy. So yeah, sorry for that. Um when it comes to you, Leo, and your energy in the month of January, you have Bella Rose representing the devil, the major arcana. So you start off like, kabam! It's the number of 15. We have then Golden Flower, also major arcana, representing the temperance. In this deck, I'm using Crystal Estero for those of you who want to know. Beautifully illustrated. I'm in love with this one. Uh, golden flower temperance under the number of 14 and we have eight of stones some earth energy virgo taurus capricorn so maybe some of you do have some earth in your charts uh possibly fire as well in your chart check your natal chart for more information when it comes to that leo bella rosa devil for a lot of you, you may even know what devil do represents, um, obstacles, issues, addictions, uh, those kind of behavior we all have, which we are not proud of. And uh, I feel like this is a call for you. Maybe some of you are already in that, um, a call of shadow work. There is a need for you to do some shadow work. There is a need for you to look deeper into uh, what you do not obviously want to look at because the character on a card is not looking at the mirror even though it holds it. So it's pretty much near. Um, as I said, it's it's maybe happening for, for some of you. Uh, yeah, month of January. Uh, up following message for you, Leo, is Golden Flower representing the Temperance, number 14. This is specific and Sagittarius energy and um, temperance is about patience and uh, balancing out the, the pol polarity of oneself, balancing out the energies of oneself. And I see a great connection while I'm speaking with Bella Rose and this shadow work you are going through, um, seeing what you actually need to see. Uh, even if you do not want to, like, it is happening in the month of January uh, for you, Leo. Um, golden flower and temperance, uh, 
I feel like you will be in patience with, you will be in patience, meaning of you will be actually patient with yourself while you go to shadow work. You will take your time to, to let it flow through you. Um, For others of you, maybe it's going to take a while while you do this, since the temperance does represent time, divine timing, and uh, this patience energy within self. So it's good. It's good. It's actually good because, you know, glow and flower as the two wishes illustrated on a car represents, it's circulating it's moving, it's flowing, so it's happening. Eight of Stones talks about that. I feel like uh, when this process of shadow work and you letting go of something, when it comes to yourself, um, your own obstacles and, and issues, uh, when you remove that baggage, which have been keeping you stuck, Leo, uh, you will come to, to the point of, okay, I want to build a stable grounds. I want to be, be stable. I want to feel stable um, financially, emotionally, mentally. Um, and I feel like um, a lot of you will reach that point. I mean, uh, you have a great uh, straight within you, Leo, this is what you do represent in traditional tarot straits. And Eight of Stones, it's exactly moving towards that path and towards that journey to build stable grounds for you yourself. When it comes to the person most currently on your mind, we have Three of Spirals, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sag. It is actually your energy, Leo. We have Nine of Stones, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and we have Eight of Spirals, again, Fire Energy, your energy, and as well as um, Aries and Sagittarius. So for some of you, you may be dealing with another fire sign, um, or with another Leo, it's also possible for some of you. Yeah, three of spirals for this person means that this person is watching you. To be honest, I'm not getting really that this is some kind of past person. It may be for some of you that it is a past person. And for others of you, uh, it's somebody who you met, who you have known. But this person feels like new to you. It's like you met them and you, you, you haven't seen them for a long a while. But for others of you, maybe past person. Anyway, this person is watching you with three of spirals. I feel like they're actually passionate about you. They want to know more about you. They want to uh, figure you out where you are right now, who you are right now, who you are dealing with right now. Um, they want to gather some information about you, Leo. Nine of Stones, this person has walked away. Okay, this is a past person for a lot of you. Um, there was separation when it comes to the both of you. And this person decided to walk away and leave you in the past, leave the connection between the two of you in the past. This person brought the decision to move on. But now, here we are in 2022, in the month of January, and your person finishes its row by Eight of Spires, which is a very passionate and very fiery energy, very active and masculine energy. It's specific in Aries energy with this one. This is a message and energy of movement, very fast, very rapid. So I'm feeling like, even though this person decided... Um, in the previous year to walk away and, and leave it in the past, they now want to come back. 
that's why they are watching you to see you know where you stand with whom you stand um, and just get information about you as I said they're rushing towards you but we will clarify uh, the energies for the both of you uh, let's look at the connection of the two of you Leo we have Kali representing the tower also major Kana the number of 16 we have two of mirrors water elements energy cancer by Scorpio and we have Ravens representing the magician in this deck number of one major Kana so I feel like there may be some tower moment happening um and it's un unexpectedly and uh, is going to interrupt you and this person as well since we are talking about the connection of the two of you uh maybe around uh or start of 16 january is this i feel like something will come into light someone will come to light we have two of mirrors you two mirror each other you two project each other and following up with there are a lot of emotions between the two of you a lot of emotions um and you know it may become through as uh being on and off emotionally now we're stable then we are unstable but there are a lot of emotions and feelings when it comes to the you know the two of you and you know the up following message we have ravens a magician who does talk about manifestation so i feel like you two somehow unconsciously subconsciously with this projection and mirroring each other and having a lot of emotions maybe the tower will have to do with that you two uh, actually want to manifest each other coming back together in the unity getting back together ravens are also the energy of being watched and watching so maybe the both of you are watching each other while you are not uh, in a connection while you are not speaking um, it's also a message of i want to have support I want to have my other raven who will uh, be exactly what I need him to be when I need him to be. And this looks like you, Leo, um, who will just catch me when I fall and who will just be there to support me and my pearl. Pearls? can represent desire so um, i feel like there is actually great potential of passion emotions feelings involved in the connection of the two of you leo um, and i feel like because they do actually desire you and you do them and i picked it intuitively that uh, for a lot of you it is unconsciously and subconsciously uh, magician is stepping in as well as it's our to show it off how this person sees you Leo we have the healer page of mirrors beautiful energy water energy cancer Pisces Scorpio we have ace of mirrors again some watery energy and we have the Sun major Kana number of 19 This person sees you as goddess if you're female and god if you are masculine male this person sees you as someone who has very big healing energy within yourself i mean some of you may be a healer on a professional uh, career level but they they feel that when they are in your presence it's just so calm and so peaceful and so healing for them Ace of Mirrors is it's flowing off. It's flowing off. What should I say? It's like um, wish fulfillment on emotional level. It's like too much love. 
too much love. The water is flowing out of the mirror because the cup is so fulfilled. I feel like they have been praying for you. When I look at the ice and mirror, as you can see the candles, they are praying for your love. I feel like this person does not believe that you actually have love for them. That's why they wish and pray for someone like you, someone with this healing skills, eventually loves them. This person sees you as son and uh, I feel like you were just a wish fulfillment for this person but at the period of time uh, they were facing some issues and demons by themselves there were some things that things experiences journeys that this person needed to go through that's why the decision was brought in this manner i feel like this was needed to be uh, for this person to experience something they need to probably to see you as who you are in a totally different light uh, because at the end of the day they know that you shine bright in their eyes they know how much they love you and how much connected emotionally they are to you and spiritual as well with the healer and again this is how they see you leo you are the sun in their eyes you are the sun for their being it's like you lighten them up leo you are the sun you are the light that's why I was saying it's like this person by the end of the month of January will eventually see how important you are in their life and how much you mean to them. And they just love the way you shine. And they had some missed opportunity on you. They obviously do regret that. Because after Nine of Stones, the message I have showed you a couple of minutes ago, the Eight of Spirals come. They want to rush towards you. We all do have free will. When it comes to your energy, Leo, Bella Rose, the devil is clarified with intuition, the inner voice, and that is intuition. So your intuition has been telling you, okay, I need to go through some healing process. I need to do some shadow work. There are some things uh, when it comes to me that are just not right. And I need to pick up myself again, pick up my energy, listen to my intuition and do the shadow work that I need to do. Golden flower temperance is clarified with the wheel. Divine timing, divine timing. Universe is stepping in. You were patient about um, your healing process, about doing your shadow work. Um, you listen to your intuition. You know, this, this, this has happened for some of you already. And um, you came to the point, okay, I'm, I'm, I level up. When it comes to the patience, I level myself up. And by the end of January, the wheel of fortune is happening. The wheel is turning in your favor. So I really feel like this is destined what you needed to go through with this person and maybe in the future what you will go with this person again i'm saying we do have free will choose as you wish my dear eight of stones is clarified with politics politics can speak 
uh, can speak about morals, politics can speak to, speak about sorry can speak about um, you know traditional ways of thinking maybe uh, not really being open-minded being a little bit um, guarded um, you lost trust in this person is what I'm getting they hurt you they really hurt you disappointed you and you need to build the new self of you, the new version. You need to build stable ground when it comes to yourself. And you have that strength inside of you to do so, which is great. And you, you're doing that. You will do that. And I feel like for those of you who will actually come back together with this person and end up with this person, um, I feel like you will you will really uh, set some boundaries and um, really take your time with them, not jump off straight. Okay, now we're back together and na 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 na. Mm -mm. This time different is going to be, uh, this time around is going to be different is what I wanted to say. When it comes to this person, three of spirals on their side is clarified with morality. Morals. And this can also speak about um, one way of thinking. Um, how, how they were schooled, how they were educated, how they were raised in a way. And politics is kind of simil similar message uh, on your side. Um, and this is like a new you when it comes to you, Leo, with politics. Anyway, three aspires clarification with morality. I feel like for 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 some of you, this person um, is a little bit stuck in their head, in their perspective about how things should be, um, how I want them to be. You know, I'm getting a little bit stubborn energy when it comes to this. No wonder if they are also a fire sign or have some fire in their chart as well. They were being in their head back in the past, following that traditional way of how relationships should be for them and following the way they were raised, the way they were used to step into the relationship and behave in a relationship. Nine of Stones for your person, Leo, is clarified with intellect. So I feel like, um, again, I'm, I'm sensing this energy. It was brought the decision which needed to be their way. It needed to happen their way for your person to learn a lesson which they need to, to experience what they need to, uh, so they can see you in a totally new light of who you actually are, Leo. And that is leveling up uh, the intellect manner and level of this person eight of spirals for your person is clarified with master so apparently it shows that it's gonna um show off good that this person is really willing to you know come towards you and and show you how much they've changed and and what they realized and how much they regret their past doings decisions let's see what romantic angels want to tell you and this person as well leo when it comes to you 
you have a message of get to know each other. And I wanted to say again, because I do know this is a past connection. This is a past person. Get to know each other better. When you show each other who you really are, the connection of the both of you is going to take some deeper level. Get to know each other. So I feel like romantic angels do support you to give another chance, this person, just to uh, see what they can show you. How much is it worth? And I feel like with this one, you need to be open-minded um, when it comes to this person. This may be challenging for some of you because uh, Eight of Stones is being clarified with politics. And I told you about that. Um, so it may be a little bit challenge for you to get on a note of, okay, I do want to meet you again. I do want to meet the new you. Your person has a message from romantic angels. Let the control subject go. Let the control go. Allow this situation to flow naturally. This is a message for your person. So they definitely have some control issues which they need to uh, let go and heal themselves. Let's look at the love universe messages for you leo three for you in the month of january for the month of january please do like share and subscribe if you already have not leo i really do appreciate your support and it will help the channel grow and that will be just amazing that will be amazing i really do enjoy doing this Okay, Leo, let's see for you. Three messages. Oh, my. Energies. You have first one. Your treasure is at hand. And the message is saying... Sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier. But more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. This is a same kind of energy as the uh, romantic angels wanted to tell you. Get this person, give this person another chance. Your treasure is at hand. Like you already met it. But turned another page and meet it again in a whole different way. With a whole different perspective. The second one for you, Leo, is what will love do? And it's saying, do you know why it's so easy for us in the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? You leave behind footprints of love. What will love do? And the last one of love universe messages is prepare to be astounded. I feel like surprise is coming. Surprise is coming. What will love do? Prepare to be astounded. Your treasure is at hand. Beautiful messages. Send them love. Wish them peace. See them happy. Everyone always forever. Let's close off your reading, Leo, with three chakra messages for you. Okay, we have the first one of solar plexus chakra, third chakra, and it's saying the more you know yourself, the more patience you have for what you see in others exactly this one you have built it you have built yourself up to that level and it's you know 
clarification of the golden flower temperance, the will, the will of fortune. The more you know yourself, the more patience you have for what you see in others. And this also has to do with projections. The second one for you is of heart chakra. And it's saying healing process is needed or present. Yeah, definitely. Healing process, shadow work. I was talking about it. The last message for you, Leo, is the one of first chakra, root chakra. And it's saying, I am safe. Universe protects me. I am full of life energy. This is your January, January love reading, Leo's. Please do let me know down in the comments how does it resonate with you. I would love to see those. Um, I said you all that you need to know. Take good care.